today, I'm going to expose what is potentially the biggest fitness myth of all time. This myth leads people down a path of frustration and just completely wasting their time. It leads people to believe that there's one special diet that's going to lead to easy, fast, rapid weight loss. It leads people down the path of trying keto and then bouncing to intermittent fasting and then trying out the carnivore diet and then putting butter in their coffee. And I get it too, you know, I want the path of least resistance as well. It is tempting to think that there's gonna be this one panacea that is gonna lead you to the best fitness results of your life. And if one single diet was the best diet, then you better believe that I'd be consuming that diet as well. I've messed around with several diets in the past, whether it is intermittent fasting, or if it fits your macros, or a higher fat diet, a lower carb diet, carb cycling, all these different things. And one story about this is when I was intermittent fasting in the past, I would literally not eat any food all day just so I could have a bowl of ice cream at the end of the day. And my day was consumed by just thinking about that bowl of ice cream at the end of the day. And potentially the saddest part about this is that while eating that bowl of ice cream, I would literally start to become sad. You know why? Because I knew that I was getting closer and closer with each bite to having to wait another day until I could eat again. And is that the kind of relationship you want with food? Probably not. And I'm not saying just because you try a few diets, that means that's what's going to happen to you. But it does show the extent of the impacts that this myth can have. But then I discovered that what I kind of thought in my head was actually just a myth. And this myth, well, it's that there's one special diet that's going to be best for fat loss. And this is just simply not true. What is shown by the scientific literature is that what leads to fat loss is your ability to sustain a calorie deficit over time. And when reviewing different diet strategies, that is like the fundamental core principle that things come down to. What diet strategy is going to allow you to sustain a calorie deficit long enough for you to reach your goal? It doesn't necessarily have to be sustainable for the rest of your life. A fat loss phase is just that. It's just a phase of your life. But your fat loss phase or the dietary strategy you use to lose fat needs to be sustainable long enough for you to get to your goal. Now, does this mean that you shouldn't try different ways of eating and different dietary patterns out and see if one of them works a little bit better for you? No, that absolutely doesn't mean that. I think that you definitely should try some different things out and see what is a sustainable dietary pattern to you. But if you think that one specific diet plan is the way to lose fat and you find that diet strategy just woefully unsustainable for you, well, that can lead you to just feel defeated. So no, putting butter in your coffee is not the solution to fat loss for everybody. Maybe there's certain people out there to where that really works for, but it's not going to be this one special hack for fat loss. And instead of focusing on one special diet, I think it would be much better for you to focus on different strategies that you can use that are actually going to help you in regards to managing hunger throughout the day, keeping your mind off food, having a sustainable dietary strategy so you can still do social things that you enjoy while kind of fitting that into your overall dietary pattern. Picking a dietary strategy that works with your lifestyle and your work schedule and different things like that. I think that's much more important and a much better focus rather than trying to think about what is this one diet that is going to get me to my results. And I think that focusing on eating satiating foods throughout the day, having plenty of food volume throughout your food so you still have like substance in your meals and large enough meals to kind of feel satisfied after your meals, maybe consuming sparkling water throughout the day to kind of limit that hunger throughout the day. You could also use diet drinks that might help you out, prepping foods ahead of time so your dietary schedule works better in your overall lifestyle. All those things can aid you in having a sustainable calorie deficit until you reach your goal. But that's all those things help with. There's not necessarily anything special about, you know, eating high volume foods or having diet drinks or different things like that. However, they can help you manage hunger, which makes your fat loss phase more sustainable, which might lead you 
to sustaining the calorie deficit until you reach your goal, which is the ultimate fundamental when it comes to fat loss. And it is a huge myth out there that there's one special diet that's going to work for you to lose fat because the fundamental reason why any specific diet works is because it allows someone to sustain a calorie deficit over time. And I don't intend this to come across that you should just eat less and move more to lose body fat. It is more complex than that. But I think that if you focus on these strategies of eating a bit more food volume to stay more satiated throughout the day, meal prepping ahead of time to make this fat loss phase more kind of convenient throughout your lifestyle, having some diet drinks or sparkling water to kind of manage that hunger. I think if you focus on those strategies and just have the overall focus on being what can I do to sustain this calorie deficit long enough to get my goal rather than thinking about what diet is going to be this special diet that's going to allow me to lose fat. I think that's going to make this a much easier process for you to actually get to your goal and prevent you from just spinning your wheels, hopping from one diet to the next. So potentially one of the biggest myths in the fitness industry is that there's one special diet for fat loss when it really just comes down to the reason any diet works is because someone is able to sustain a calorie deficit long enough to reach their goal.